All right, so this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 6th to uh, April 12th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well there you can find a, a tarot classes section in case uh, you like the way I read tarot and you want to learn to read the same way. So that being said, uh, the very first card which represents the topic of your week cancer is going to be uh, the devil card. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. That is going to be uh, the chariot card, followed by the third one which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome here. Uh, that's a very solid one though i mean the, the the whole three cards here a very very solid week is what you are to experience uh that will be the hermit followed by uh, the gifts and the blessing oh my god four out of six uh, that is that that could be or should be very important week for your cancer so uh the fourth one which is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy we have the strength card there and afterwards is going to be the impression that you are leaving into the people around. Um, no wonders we do have the two of swords at that place. And the last one here, which stands as the guidance the tower is offering, we have the ten of wands. All right. My. Mm. Okay, so uh, looking at the very first uh, two cards here, it looks like that uh, food throughout the week, you, uh, how, how do I say it? Well, we'll start from the energies. So from the energies, uh, you, will, you will have to show your, um, or the energies themselves are going to make your ability to push through things quite expressed. In the sense of that those energies are going to push you to attend to those kind of situations in your life that you are finding overwhelming and uh, ultimately as a result from all that these immense efforts if you will uh, you are going to start enjoying the luck of your hard work career wise or relationship wise either way those energies here are to push you to face if you will your fears in that particular case and the fear is not something that you are scared of attending the fear is like you are afraid of what kind of a uh, circumstances or kind of like what kind of a consequences what kind of results the whole endeavor is gonna have at the end now important thing to be said with the chariot card it is that um it's very important to incorporate your personal signature in it meaning that you shouldn't look anybody around for an example how you have to tackle with your marriage or with your relationship how you have to tackle with your career the whole point of this week through those energies of the chariot card it is that you do it by yourself as at the end of the day you are to enjoy the results on your own meaning that everything it is for you and uh, literally nothing more can be said about the chariot in terms of energies the chariot is all about in that particular case is all about how one is to overcome overwhelming difficulties or more overwhelming issues or overwhelming challenges as well challenges that under normal circumstances what one even would not dare to think of attending into but it does look like that this week is going to give you the foundation or the prerequisites for you to do so, which is going to lead to the topic itself here, the topic of the devil card. And what is the devil card, guys? It is the, the giving or rather like the mm, gift of everything we have ever wanted. Or in this case, cancer, everything you have ever wanted at that particular stage, though. So the gift could be love, the gift could be um, money, the gift could be happiness as well. The thing with the de with the devil card, it is uh, like uh, people are usually scared by the devil. But if you think about the concept of the devil, it's not that scary at all. Because uh, uh, what is the purpose of God? To see if you are worthy to go to heavens, right? So God puts you through challenges 
to see how worthy you are to go to heaven. What is the purpose of the devil? To make you unworthy for the heavens. So the devil, the devil doesn't put you in front of challenges. It makes your life easier. It gives you everything you have ever wanted. So you can abuse with it and prove yourself unworthy to have your place in heavens. It's, that's the concept, at least, for the devil card in tarot cards. And uh, that's why the situation is going to be the situation you wanted throughout this particular week. Uh, which will be a result of your denial of a failure, right? Which will be the result of the hard work of yours, not of the hard work of anybody else, but of your personal hard work. And ultimately, you are to enjoy as well, uh, like I said, the results of it, uh, like the, the fruits of your labor, the luck of that particular hard work. So uh, it looks like that the situation this week, Cancer, is going to put you on the ace. What I mean is that you get to call the shots, you get to decide what to do, you get to uh, pretty much force ace circumstances in there, uh, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, just so you can have things the way you have ever wanted. And uh, by its stance, is going to be very neutral. I mean that you can do with those circumstances whatever you like. So you can build or you can destroy. And that will determine in the concept of the devil, you know, are you worthy for heavens or not? Which is a uh, figurative expression. Don't think of that if you do something uh, inappropriate, you know, you're going to deny your way there. It is just the concept of the car that you can use the uh, the build up momentum here of the devil, the tremendous power that the devil, the devil gives you to build, to build life, to uh, uh, to build friendships, to build relationships, to build career path. Or you can use it to destroy, to destroy someone's relationship, to destroy someone's future in career, you know, to to make evil. That's the point. But you can make good. The devil only gives you the means. What you do with those means, well, that falls on you. And uh, uh, you may ask, then why people do bad things if the devil doesn't make you do it? It's the power that makes you do it. Power is something that it's, it's intoxicating. We people do things because we can. No other reason. Uh, or we don't need any other reason for it. So uh, once you have on, on your disposal all the means you need to do whatever you like, don't abuse them, because uh, otherwise there are to be consequences afterwards. Uh, so what will be the challenge here? Uh, we do have the Hermit, and uh, up until this point we talked about how you are to overcome and how you're going to have everything you want to, you know, and uh, every means that you have uh, lacked up until this point, that you're going to have at your disposal throughout the week. So you will have the power to force circumstances, to call shots and to place verdicts, if you will. So the Hermit here points that it will be challenging for you to stay true to what is reasonable, to what is substantial and to, uh, to address all this power given to you with intelligence and with wisdom. Why with, intelli with intelligence? I'm not questioning your intelligence here, guys. With intelligence is to be able to exclude your emotions from the equation and despite that you may feel that you have to do one thing, your intelligence to tell you to do another because it's going to be better for all. Uh, that's what is going to be difficult for you to do because when you do have uh, all the circumstances at your disposal, there will be those impulses and those instincts what to do with them straight away. Uh, and you have to do an extra hard work here to time uh, or to tame, excuse me, those emotions and those impulses. So you can uh, logically analyze and decide in favor of all how to make use, you know, of the of the power given to you. Uh, that leads us to the next card. Oh, one more thing here with the Hermit is that it may be difficult to listen to yourself 
because everybody will want something. You know, you have the means, you 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 have the um, you have the resources. So everybody wants something, and it will be like I said a difficulty from your standpoint to withdraw from the ideas of others and kind of like spread those resources according to your intelligence and not according to what everybody else desires. It's all about what you desire at that particular week. So moving next, we do have the strength card here. That is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. Uh, that is your um, determination in that particular case. And also the ability not to go to the extreme. What I mean, <clears throat> it is that it does look like that you are going to consider um, every kind of outcome that can happen out of the results of your actions here through the uh, through the enormous potential that it is given to you. So you are going to understand that going into either of the extreme, being completely negligent or being completely extremely passionate will do no good in um, in any kind of a situation. So you uh, you are to be gifted with balance. Neither um, extremely, like I said, passionate, neither negligent, exact amount of passion uh, or exact amount of enthusiasm is to be planted within you from the universe. So just, so just you can place the exact measures and to spread the exact resources, whatever those resources, A needs, um, needs deployment. And uh, that will help you a lot with the challenge itself, which we said that the challenge is going to be for you to stay true to what is substantial. So you will know the measures, but you may kind of like feel that you should not comply to the measures. Give something, give more to your people and deprive the rest from what they deserve. For example, you know, which is very common in our polit political world, right? So every politician aims to sort their family and their owners first and then whatever happens with the, with the nation happens. Or at least this is how the things are in our country on, or my country, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, that, that is what uh, you are gonna go through in the physical aspect here. So let's uh, have a look uh, what kind of impression people are gonna have into you. Uh, that will be the two of uh, swords. I said, no wonder we have it because people will, uh, and it's actually a good card in that particular place because people will see how much is lingering on your shoulders. And if you can see here, it's a perfect example how the woman holds the swords at her shoulders. You know, people will see that there is no right, that you are facing a dilemma, a, even a drama, if you will. That there is no right or wrong decision, that everything hangs in the balance. And if you take away from one thing, it's going to crumble. And if you put it into another thing, it's going to become heavier. So people will see that a lot is, like said, is, uh, it's, it's on top of you. And you, uh, in order, people will identify that you do have a lot to play with around they're not going to see that as a blessing they're going to see it as a responsibility that you have to maintain throughout this uh, particular week because you have to call the shots you have to spread the resources you have to say you know take the consequences of all this uh, of all this work and while you are to be once again a granted a, a great power throughout the week like in these Marvel movies, they are saying it for a reason there, you know, great power comes with great responsibilities. So people will see you crushed or bearing those responsibilities, meaning that those around are not going to be ungrateful. You know, they will see you reliably, not reliably, but um, responsibly accounting, you know, what is depending on you. And the last one here, it is the uh, Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands as a guidance points that uh, it just strengthens the uh, the expression of um, of the Hermit card. Points that you have to be true to the common cause. You have to be true to how the game is played. You know, even if you do have the power, that doesn't give you the right. You you need to remember that. So. Um, you have to set, spread or shuffle the resources you are to manage accordingly to 
your situation to whatever your situations and not just only yours but everybody that depends on you uh it, it it needs not that it demands but it needs with the 10 uh with the 10 of wands so the card here points that you will have once again a, a great results throughout the week but as you can see this person is struggling managing those resources that he does have at that particular point but that doesn't mean that he is going to fail all right so as long as you stick with what is known with what is true and with the rules of the game and you do not misuse your position and you do not uh, abuse your situation and your power you are going to achieve an, an awesome result not just for you but for everybody around you as well so that being said, uh, Cancer, that was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such as you can see uh, my services and their pricing on a very top, uh, on a very front page. And as well, you can find a, a tarot class section there in case you like the way I read tarot and you want to learn to read the same way. Uh, participating into the course hopefully is gonna give you that same knowledge so yeah uh, hopefully we're gonna see each other around and uh, until then uh, until then stay safe and uh, bye